When it comes to telemetry, one of the problems a KK2 board has is that it doesn't have any way to output telemetry uh, readings to a, re to a receiver like the D4R2, which can then relay it back to your Tyrannus. That's why you have to get something like this. This is called the FBVS01, but if you look closely at this, if I get it turned up right for you, it has a different label on the bottom and it says FDDSV1. Now this thing, what it does, it actually it takes the battery input on this side over here on the right. And you can see right there, this one's set up for 3S. And 3S setting actually supports three cell on up to, I think, about five or six cells. What you do, you hook up this side of the wire directly to your battery, and then it takes the readings and it sends the readings out, this other connection, out the other end, over to your receiver, which can then um, send those back down to your Tyrannus. Now, with the D4R2, um, it comes with a cable like this. And if you watch my other video, we use the green and the black wires for the telemetry settings on the Nase 32 board, these two, which we're not going to use those this time. We're going to use the black and the white wire for this one. And the red and the green wire, you can cut them off or pull them out. They pull out pretty easily. But we're going to use these two wires. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to actually, I'm going to... Uh, solder them on to the red and the black wire on here. The black will go to the black and the white will go to the red. Now if you want you can actually cut this shrink wrap off and solder them directly onto there and it will probably work better. In fact I might even do that. That's what I'm, what I'm going to do. I've just decided. Okay I have the shrink wrap removed and we do not want to unsolder this right side here. We want to unsolder this left side and that's where we're going to put the uh, D4R connection on there. And the signal goes on the left. Ground goes on the right. So here's the adapter that came with the D4R and I'm going to grab off the um, white and the black and I've already pre-tinned these so they should be good to go. I'm going to solder these right on to where the old ones came off. Let's take a look. Get a close-up of this so we can see what we're doing here. Remember, we want to we're messing with the white and the black. So we want the black to go on the ground on the bottom left and the white to go on the top left. And right there where it says DN. And this, like I said, over here on the right side, this is where the battery goes in. And if you're using 3S, 4S, or 5S, you want to use the 3S setting there. And that's how mine actually came. The next thing you need to do is find a place where you can steal power. <laughs> steal a power tap. Well here I had these uh, power adapters here already plugged together to run a uh, an LED back here on the uh, back of the tail. So what I did is I made a little adapter to go in between those and I tied in this into the, into the uh, little adapter so that way it has power coming into it. So now that it has power the next thing I need to do is connect it to the D4R itself. D4R2. There it's plugged in and it's connected back to the adapter, which is connected back to a power tap. This is the piece I took off, to the power tap. So now when I feed this power, hopefully it will send out the D4R2. will send telemetry information back to the Tyrannus. Here I'm going to plug the power in and hopefully it doesn't start smoking. And it smoked. Come on, turn left. So here it is, when I toasted it, you can tell it burnt out this little connection right here, so I soldered a piece of wire on here to try to reconnect it. But I am not going to test this one right now, instead I got a new one, and it is in here. This one is wired in correctly. It has the positive and negative up here, and it has the black and the white wire connected in back here. And this side, like I said before, connects into the D4R2, and this side connects directly to your battery distribution board, your power distribution board, or directly into your wiring harness, somewhere where it can read the actual voltage. Here I'll go ahead and connect the power into the tricopter. Low battery. That has the... Uh, that one has the little board in it. All right, 
So anyway, back here on Tyrannus now. We should be able to start seeing voltage readings come into here. Now if you, let me zoom in. So now with the power connected, the telemetry numbers should be coming in across your A2 channel. Now to get to that, you need to get into your models, make sure you're on your correct model, hold down the page button to go back one screen back to the telemetry. Now in here, we want to scroll down to the A2 channel. So here it says A2, and we have to set up this range. And so we're gonna go ahead and start increasing this. And you can see the voltage coming across right here. We're changing this one, the range, and this is going up. Now you need to know how full your battery is so you can actually set this correctly. Well, here's my 4S battery, and here's a charger that will tell us the voltage coming off of it. I'm gonna plug this in. And we'll see this one is coming in at 16.5 volts. So back up here on the screen, we want to start increasing this range up until this number here says 16.5 volts. So I'll go ahead and hold this down. And this is the this range is based off of which of the pins on the back of the board that you selected to do. Just like to use. Now, hopefully, you're using the 3S ones and it'll be fine with this. But again, we're going for 16.8, so we're going to crank this up. All right, so again, we'll check the battery voltage and it says uh, 16.5. Okay, so we're a little high here, so we'll bring this down until we get near 16.5. Now, if I was going to choose between 645 and 653, I might choose down here if I want to be a little conservative, conservative, or I might choose up here if I want to be a little more accurate. But I'm going to go ahead and choose on the low side. So I got mine set at 19.7, maybe 19.8, something like that. I'll go put 19.8. So now you can get out of that, and there's your voltage coming across off of your batteries. And again, like I said, it's coming off the A2 channel. So let's go back out to let's go back out to the main screen, and uh, if we go here. This is where we have the cells set up and the RSSI. Now let's go ahead and we'll add it into this screen. So let's go back into the models and we're on the right one. So we'll hold down the page button, go back to telemetry and we're gonna go up this time to make it faster to get to these screens. All right, so here's the cells and the cell and the RSSI that we were just looking at. Go ahead and push enter on this one and um, this is on my screen one. And I'm going to change this to say A2. <clears throat> so there's A2. So I go ahead and I push enter and I uh, go ahead and push escape or actually exit, I guess. And now I'm back here to main screen and I hold down the page button and there's the voltage coming across on my screen now. Now, if you have a better, uh, a better battery voltmeter than this one, it actually gives you two decimals for. Uh, for the reading, you can make this you can make this at more accurate. So anyway, there's the it, there's the voltage on there coming across for telemetry, and that's working with the Free Sky battery voltage sensor. If you have any questions about how to set this up, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to help you as best I can. And uh, one more thing, if you have if you've set up your telemetry bars like I had in my other video, you can change these cells or cells over to use the A2 and you should be able to put your bar on here instead of having to look at the numbers. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks. Here I'm going to plug the power in and hopefully it doesn't start smoking. And it smoked. Turn around, turn around.